Octomali Gazali Gazump to Yumpty Yaddy Yahoo. Ink to Mink to Yaddy Gazink to Yumpty Ray Yahoo. Wing Wang, Tricky tr- Tricky Tracky Poo Foo, Juicy Woozy. Skizzle Wazzle Wang Tang, Orky Porky, Domin Orky, Redlands, Ra Ra Redlands. <laughs> For two and a half years, I was the model student. And then I discovered a number of things, women being one of them. <laughs> but as a result of the last water fight, when I pulled the fire hose out of Watchhorn, they decided perhaps it was time to depart from the university for a while, to restructure my priorities. The sidewalks rolled up at 6 o'clock. There was one drive-in, the library and the parks. That was about it. It was orange groves, it was quiet. It was definitely a church-oriented town. Prime of Miss Jean Brody, that was my senior acting thesis. I always knew, even at Redlands, that I would go to New York. I was there for a chorus line. One singular sensation, every little step she takes. Because it turns into the biggest, biggest show ever to hit Broadway at that time. I'm on this little Redlands girl, you know, I'm, what am I getting all this big whoop de doo And it was a big whoop de doo It was a great experience, just great. But it all started here. I was taking some swimming lessons from Cecil Alonzo Cushman when the Rams used to train here. One of my best memories was when Jane Russell came to get her husband, Bob Waterfield. Even at that young and tender age, it was a, a memorable moment. I got accepted at Stanford and Redlands. And I thought, well, Stanford, Redlands. And then it was Ralph Hone and Bill Maine and and Paul Little and, you know, Rob Stewart, Eileen Cotter, all these fabulous professors. And I did not look back. The town had been founded in the early 1880s. It had uh, a reputation for culture, these gorgeous homes. Homer Kingsbury, who was mayor of Redlands, said, you know, we've got presidents that have been here, we've got millionaires, we've got fabulous citrus, but we don't have a university. Jasper Field thought it would be a perfect place for college. He had no idea that he was going to become the president. My father enrolled as a charter student when the university was down in the basement of the First Baptist Church of Redlands. 1907, when the university opened, I remember driving out to Whitewater one night for a barbecue. Was there dancing? Oh, no, 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 no. You had to be off campus for formal parties. And you know what was going on there. They were obviously whipping out a cigarette, purloining some sort of uh, alcoholic beverage, and having a good time. On New Year's Eve one night, toward the end of the war, Jersey Bounce was banging out over the loudspeakers from the chapel, and dancing stayed at Redlands ever since. I came in here, first person in my family to go to college. I wasn't convinced I should even go to college. We take students where they are, and we move them on and make very successful scholars and citizens out of them who have a real sense of community, real sense of this place and each other. To us, a child is born. Part of the charm of the University of Redlands is the city of Redlands itself. Community people love the university and feel like they are part of it. That's one of the treasures of the university. I've got to tell you the honest truth. People from outside are always amazed about the sense of the genuineness and of the true friendliness. 
of the people on campus. To keep that as a continuity over a hundred years of change, to me, that's a heroic trait. There's some things that uh, I, of course, uh, treasure. You know. And my graduation party there. It was probably uh, the most beautiful day of my life. It was overwhelming. You know, I had my family there, and it was a, a Texas French party. A nice little hat, Texas hat, on the cake, and on the other side was a nice little frog with a French flag, you know. Like I was telling you, when you have the intelligence, uh, the culture, and the sense of humor, it's a good cocktail, you know. Voilà. We are all here. You say, we are family. You know what I mean? It's kind of a, you know, we, it's a common experience, therefore a common bond. I think that's why we, you know, we love coming back. It's like when you go to Salzburg, and that was such a powerful bonding. I'll email somebody and say, Octomali, and you know instantly who it is. Octomali, gazali, gazumpti, yumpti, yadi, yahoo. You've got to be kidding me. You're going to have everybody doing this. Ink to mink, te yadi kazink, te yump, te ray, yahoo. <laughs> no, you're kidding. Everybody's doing the octomali, but what if I don't get it right? Oh man, you should need to. You need to give me a cue card. <laughs> Octomali gazali gazump de yump de yadi ray yahoo ink to mink de yadi gazink de yump de oh glory Pete. <laughs> we weren't required to to uh, to really learn it when when I was there. Octomali gazali gazump. Can you say it backwards? No, wing, wang, no. Can't do it backwards, no. Do you have the words? So it's something like octomali, gazali, gazumpti, umpti, anaruhu, wing, rang, porky, worky, uh, rah, rah, redlands. Was that good? Well, it was better than Anne, right? Octomali, gazali,